Lung cancer causes 1.5 million deaths worldwide each year, but advances in treating it have been slow. So could a single blood sample prove to be the key to finding new treatments? Until now, two main obstacles have stood in the way of progress. One of the challenges is biopsying patients with lung cancer is problematic. It's actually very distressing often for the patient to get deep inside their lung to find a biopsy of the tumour. And one of the problems is we, we detect very few lung cancers early enough. And once the cancer has spread around the body, it becomes very difficult for us to treat with new drugs. The challenge then is to find easier ways to study and treat lung cancer even when it's spread. Here at the Cancer Research UK Manchester Institute, researchers are hoping patient blood samples might help them do just that. What we want is a cheap and effective test for lung cancer patients that helps us design new therapies and choose the right one for a particular patient. And one of the things we're really excited about in the lab are circulating tumour cells. So these are the cells that have left the primary tumour in the lung, have invaded through tissue and have got into the bloodstream. Circulating tumour cells have the potential to give researchers unprecedented access to information about a patient's disease and could help monitor response to treatment. But because there are so few circulating tumour cells in the bloodstream, finding them isn't easy. Here in Manchester, Caroline's team are using advanced techniques to pick out individual cells. Lung cancer cells floating around in the blood are different from healthy blood cells in that they have distinct molecules on their surface. During preparation of the blood sample, microscopic metal balls are attached to these molecules using antibodies. A magnet is then used to fish for the metal balls attached to the tumour cells. But the machine isn't perfect. It pulls out some normal blood cells too, so the sample is placed into a cartridge for further separation. To pick out the individual circulating tumour cells, the cells are held inside an electric field. Researchers can then move each tumour cell by changing the electricity. The tumour cells are placed into droplets of liquid, with each one carrying a single cell. And these tumour cells drop one by one into tiny tubes. Now we can do that for all the tumour cells that we find, and build a map, if you like, of what the genetic abnormalities are in that patient's cancer. And of course we're looking at the most aggressive cells in the tumour because these are the ones that have got away from the tumour, invaded and got into the bloodstream and they form secondary tumours elsewhere in the patient's body and this is what actually kills patients. So if we can understand the biology of these rogue circulating tumour cells, we're on the way to really finding out the best solution to how to deal with them effectively. The hope is that by growing and studying these cells in the lab, scientists and doctors can better understand the genetic makeup of lung cancer. This has the potential to help researchers design the best clinical trials to test new personalised drugs, and ultimately ensure that more people survive lung cancer.